I'm Ricky. I'm Mandy. And we're some of the captains of Leicester Pongada this year. Um, and we're happy to bring another team, uh, another Leicester team to TBS and showcase um, our talent, our, our chemistry and what we've been working on for the past few months. Um, yeah, the journey's been a bit long, it's been a bit hard. Um, we've had a lot of issues that we've over, like, had to overcome. Uh, a lot of new dancers, um, a lot of old dancers, but uh, I think we're bringing something very different to what we normally do. But we're still bringing a bit of spice that we normally bring as well. But I don't know, we're just here to show, that, show it off and uh, show that we can win as well. Yeah. And with the whole, you know, Les has got a rich uh, history at TBS, um, we want to build on that. Um, we want to leave our last year with a bang and uh, a lasting impression because Leicester's, you know, it's not disappointed in the past. We've brought sets that uh, people have enjoyed, that we've enjoyed to make. So that's the, that's the aim again. The aim of, of course is to win. So uh, may the best team win. Hi, I'm Raj from Imperial. I'm Pajab Singh from UCL and Imperial. Hi, I'm Majot Sidhu from UCL. Suk from Imperial. Journey. Um, it's been a good journey here. Uh, from my perspective on Hajar, we haven't been dancing the set. We've been kind of teaching from the front and it's a completely different experience for us. Um, it's been massively enjoyable. The main, I guess, challenge is the same as most teams. A lot of fresh dancers, but there's a lot of talent there. So a lot of the parts in the start just ironing out, you know, the sort of... Um... Um, yeah, so just tagging on from that, I think one of the most enjoyable things as being a, a captain who's not actually dancing is sort of vicariously living through the team. Uh, allowing them to put our vision out onto the stage. Um, we've obviously got the two of the captains who are actually dancing, but myself and Mitchell obviously don't quite fit the, the age bracket this time around, so watching from the sides, but it's been super enjoyable. Um, and it sort of reminds us um, why we sort of uh, fell in love with Bhangra at uni, it gives us the chance to sort of rekindle that whilst we were working. Um, so it's a super fun experience from that aspect. I think it's been like, very, very enjoyable so far. And it's really nice to have like um, UCL and Imperial kind of come back um, and like just start but like building talent again within the uni and just kind of get the, the freshers excited about Bhangra. So hopefully like in the ne that next few years, people, you know, will keep growing and we'll get like bigger and bigger teams out. Yep. So the funny thing is, I think like before we even started, me, Hajap and Manjot hadn't even met in person. I knew Raj and th these two are obviously from UCL, he's obviously been at Imperial as well, he's danced for Imperial before. And it was kind of weird because we, was, we had no idea how it's going to work out the dynamics, the na dynamics of things. We're from different external teams, so we've been rivals in the past. But it's been amazing. I think the best part for me has been like able to focus on my dancing purely, being every run through. I think it's the first time I've done a comp where I've had, I know they're co-captains, but also had captains where they're not really dancing. And initially I was like, oh, what's that going to be like? I think it's been amazing and wonderful because you get pairs of eyes that genuinely just see the set for the set. They have no, they're not focusing on their dancing. They don't have to worry about how their performance is going to be. It's purely selfless and just worrying about the 16. And I think that's been the most wholesome part. Um, I think the two unis combining, um, I think Imperial has a strength in that we're from Imperial and a couple of the Imperial guys are really strong. But UC has brought through very strong female dancers, which Imperial's lacked in the past. And I think that union in the team is what sets us apart. And I think, yeah, I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited. Best of luck to all the teams. Looking forward to see what everyone brings out. Um, but UCI and Imperial are, I think, back with a bang here still for future years. Hi, my name's Satvinder Basi, and I'm from St. George's Bunga team. Um, we're performing today at TBS 2023. It's a great honour to perform at this competition. Um, it's been a very difficult journey and process to get here. You know, coming from a university that's primarily a medical school with, you know, 5,000 students, whereas universities here have like a capacity of 70,000. It's, it's a really big achievement for us, but that's not just why we're here. We're not just here to participate. We're here to put on a competitive performance to bring something new and um, something completely different to what we've brought in the past and yeah, just to put on a good show. Thank you guys. Uh, I'm Tarveen, one of the captains at Kings. I'm Sahib, one of the other captains at Kings. <laughs> I'm Gautam, another captain from Kings. <laughs> Three or four, yeah. There's T and Ju as well. Um, we're just getting ready right now, but she's the fourth captain for this, uh, for this year, TBS 23. So, why do we think we're gonna win this year? I think it's because we are taking Bhangra to a completely level, different level this year entirely. Um, our set is the most creative Bhangra set in my opinion to date. 
especially at TBS. I think our drops are unbelievably unique. I think the audience is going to be engaged emotionally, mentally throughout the performance, very entertained. And I think the structural component will tie it off for this set. Yeah, I think we're very fortunate that the three of us, we danced at uh, WCV this summer with Vasta and won. And so coming off the back of a win is always the hardest thing to do as a bongo team. Um, because we had a great set then and you have to follow that up. Um, I think in terms of challenges, that's definitely a challenge for us creatively to make sure that we can uh, bring something again on stage that people want to watch. Another challenge that we should speak about is uh, last year for TBS 22 um, as a team. Um, and as captains, we all went through a lot. Um, most of the team had COVID two weeks out, rehearsals in masks. We had people coming to rehearsal, coughing blood in their mask and run-throughs. It was a really tough year. Um, on top of that, the set may not have has been as creative as we wanted it. Um, and so after that comp, it was kind of going back to the blueprint of kind of like, what does the scene want rather than what do we want to uh, put out? and. I feel, I feel for Vasa, the adaptation did occur and we did part of a very creative set and that same kind of thinking, that, that change in thinking we've carried through for TBS um, and I really feel as though our set's going to show that tonight. We've got drops that honestly I've never seen before, um, not similar to anything, this is all original content um, and yeah as Sahib said it will evoke emotional response from all the audience which is what we hope hope for it to do. I'm just excited, just excited for everyone to see the things that I do to be in the to be in the crowd watching it live for the first time. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited for all my family and friends to see. I just hope that now in this final stage the teams work so hard that we deliver it to the standard that it will uh, ideally be. Because I think if it is then this will be a staple set in the history of Bunga. And I think it's really going to change the perspective of how people think about Bunga. It's going to revamp the whole scene. Uh, and I'm really, really excited to put this out there for the community because we love Bhangra so much. We are very passionate about Bhangra uh, and it's one of the biggest passions in my life. Um, and I just can't wait for people's reactions because that's the end of the day, that's what we do it for. Like, regardless of who the winner is, it's the most original, the most innovative, the pioneers of a generation who are then awarded the trophy. But really it's about who's the most creative, and who's bringing it to the next level? Got not much others uh, <laughs> else to say about that. Uh, only other thing might be, um, obviously, this is second year after COVID, so still getting teams together has been tough. I'm sure every team uh, has said that. And so, you know, we're really proud of the team that we've been able to put together, these dancers, lots of freshers, lots of first timers. So um, it's really nice to bring new people into Bongra and, you know, share that, you know, as I've said, that passion that we have um, for the dance form. So, um, yeah, we're really excited to uh, give everyone that opportunity to, to see our set. Hi, I'm Anraj from Loughborough. I'm Prab from Loughborough. And I'm Suki from Langham Trent. Yeah, so to, this year we decided to collab. And it's the first time these two teams have collabed, and it's second comp for me. Uh, it's my first comp. It's my first comp for me. So, yeah, just training up a bunch of new dancers, and then it's my second. First one was a professional comp. This is obviously very, very different. People doing university and, uh, you know, outside of this as well. It's been very different. Obviously, that was 16 boys. Got, it's a lot better. I think it's been tough. First time captaining, but, um, you know, when you've got a good team around you, you know, you can do anything. Um, it's definitely been a journey. Uh, I did really want to do it a couple of years ago, um, but we've actually got the opportunity to be able to do it this year, especially as a collab. Like, this is the first time that um, the two unions, I think, have got together before. And I think it's safe to say that it's gone quite well. We've all made our sacrifices and stuff, um, but I think we all really want it the same run. So we were meant to do comp last year, but ended up holding off. So now doing it and going through the whole process this year has been really rewarding. Uh, it's been a push, big, big push, mindset, stamina, etc., etc. But we're actually here now, and the feeling is like so unreal. And honestly, we can't, we can't. We just can't wait to get on the stage, basically. Yeah, I think we're coming in as underdogs as well, so it's it's nice going in with no expectations. I think people are going to be surprised, hopefully, with what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, no, I think we're ready to just have a bunch of fun on stage as well. Hey, uh, I'm Rajveer. 
Uh, I'm Sim. Uh, we're Warwick Pungo team. Woo! Uh, so we're one of the new teams uh, in TBS this year. So um, fresh faces, a uh, whole team of freshers. Uh, we've worked very, very hard. We've put together a set which is, I think, very, very unique. Um, we spent hours every single day training it. I think we're probably the hardest working team that you'll find. Um, can't speak for the others, but I definitely know that there's not a single thing that we could have done. Um, we're going to try to bring something very new. Uh, a lot of folk elements, a lot of elements that we've seen come to light in the last couple of years, maybe. Um, so a lot of like new, interesting ways of using props, uh, different ways of approaching folk styles of Mongolia. And um, yeah, we're just going to try to put on a good show for everyone. Uh, despite being one of the new teams and despite having a whole team of fresh faces, we're absolutely 100% going for the win. Um, we're going to do our absolute best and make the best team win.